Hey everybody, it's Christopher Small from CMS Law Firm coming at you in the vertical mode today um, because yesterday I tried to do the horizontal, hold the thing all the way out and my arms got way too tired. So today we're doing vertical. My uh, tripod should be here tomorrow and then we can go back to our regularly scheduled programming. Uh, but today we're here to talk about um, the idea that if you think something is probably too good to be true, and it probably is a scam. Um, I had a conversation today. Oh, by the way, if you have a question about this or anything else, um, feel free to go to estatemeeting.com, set up a time to talk with me over the phone or in person. Um, we can talk about um, your potential inheritance. We can talk about estate planning questions. You have anything you want, um, estatemeeting.com. Today, we're talking, we're here to talk about um, just such a person that scheduled a meeting with me to ask a question and, and verify some things that he was hearing. And I'm glad he reached out because I probably saved him some money and some embarrassment and some, some cash. And, um, and so I wanted to talk about it today just in case this specific thing happens to you, but also to kind of talk about the, the concept in general. And this, this guy had received an email from the, some bank in England saying that he had he was in line for an inheritance from a distant relative and all he had to do was get some documents together and pay uh, some money several thousand dollars and the inheritance would be released to him and he reached out and set an appointment with me to make sure that this was true and to find out what he what he could do and as you might expect i told him that this was a scam um even though he he wanted to believe it was real and it, it looked sort of real um, and obviously the money would be nice it was definitely a scam um, I can tell you a couple of things that I did really quickly to verify this was if you look at the email address that, that the email comes from it will often um, be a, a URL that doesn't go anywhere that doesn't show up to a website you know this email was supposed to be from like the vice president or the president of a bank and it was from info at this this random email address that did not show up for the um, for like the company's actual website that's a pretty big that's a pretty big um, indicator that you're, you're doing a scam another huge indicator of a scam is if anybody wants you to give them money before they will give you money uh, that typically is a scam okay if anybody's writing to you and they say just wire us 3500 bucks so we can do XYZ and then release you your 25k scam okay and this goes back to the to just the overall concept that you know when something seems too good to be true, it usually is. You know, if if your if your gut is telling you this is kind of weird, this doesn't seem right, I don't feel like this is gonna work, then trust your gut. Okay, trust your gut. It's gonna lead you down the path um, most of the time to the right place, particularly in these circumstances. Um, but you know, there's a reason why that guy set up a time to talk with me, and that was because he wasn't sure what he was was here and was true. And it was a smart thing to do. And he saved some money, you know. Um, we had a chat, and it was all good. So that's what today's today's topic is about. If you know something is too good to be true, if it seems like a scam, it's probably a scam. So, um, you know, not everyone's out there is like me, just giving you the the real real deal, even if it's no good for me. But um, in any event, if you have a question about this or anything else, you don't have an estate plan and you know you need one, um, if you don't have one, you do need one, please feel free to set up a time to talk with me over the phone or in person for free, going to estatemeeting.com. Okay, I'd love to talk with you, learn about you and your family, and uh, see if I can help, give you some advice at least on what to do, and hopefully help you set that up. So that's it. Have a great day, a great week, a great life. And um, I'll be here again tomorrow to... Uh, talk to you about some more fun estate planning stuff. Hopefully, I'll be horizontal and not vertical. All right.